everyone, welcome to the Paint and Tutorials Online Tip. Uh, my name is Matthew Archambo, and we just started painting this. Uh, so far, we did the underdrawing, we did the underpainting, and now what we're doing is what I would call the ugly duckling phase of it all. We're basically just right over here, right over here, right over here. We're, we're blocking in the values of just the base of these glasses, and we're also blocking in uh, the, the most transparent part of the glass up top over here. We're not getting to the coffee in the glasses, the coffee with the milk in it, and the coffee with water added to it. That we're going to do in our next step. Uh, but basically, you know, what is this thing, that, uh, the ugly duckling stage? Well, there are these parts of your paintings and drawings. I'm talking to all of you guys out there and all you girls who uh, like to draw and paint in a realistic way. You've got to give yourself that, that stage in your painting where you've, you're going to do something that's not going to look good and you've got to have the patience uh, to stick with it because basically what it is, what I'm doing right now, uh, this is just the set, setup for the next step. And what is the next step? Uh, the next step is to glaze on, on top of this part that I'm doing now. And this is, is a lot of what I'm doing right now is just uh, going to be covered by the next step and the next glaze and the next layer of paint. Uh, the other reason why I'm, I'm doing this um, very tedious part right now is because uh, oil paint sticks better to oil paint than it does to just primed canvas or primed board. Uh, there's just something about how oil paint sticks to oil paint that is just another reason why I'm doing this uh, step right now, this tedious step that is going to be covered up, but it's just so necessary uh, as, we, as we move forward. You've got to just uh, work these middle tones. And uh, I guess another way of saying, I've got my palette right below. I'm sorry you guys can't see it. Another way of saying, um, check the value on that the ugly duckling stage, uh, you could also say the middle tone stage. And we are so right now in the middle tone stage. So if I leave you here with this short tip, um, basically be, if you guys are going to work and you're going to do realistic artwork like this, you, you could sit down and you can do it all in one sitting. You can. I've done that in the past. Uh, it's called a la prima where you just sit down and you paint and you paint until it's done. But if you're going to do a painting like this where you're, you're doing a layered painting and you're going to do it in multiple sessions, uh, well then it's very easy to look at your piece and be like, oh my God, this thing is disgusting right now. But you've got to have the wherewithal to understand where you are in the painting process and you've got to be patient with yourself and you've got to not care what other people think about your artwork. You just got to kind of go for it. And then in the next stage of your painting, and this applies to drawing as well, um, you're going to just have breathe a little sigh of relief when you start glazing in or drawing in the next part and that next part is just going to really make the piece come alive. I mean right now this base of the glass over here is missing all the highlights so it looks like oh god it just looks like so blasé and um, I think you guys get the point so I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this short tip sometimes what I like to do is get a fan brush and just knock everything down so far what I've done on this uh, part here this is part number five of a very long multi-part tutorial on how to paint glass we stalled out a little bit there for uh, about a month but we're back to it and um, I got I think there's gonna be like 10 parts and, and this is part number five so just you know, be also be conscious uh, about your texture. I don't want there to be texture in this uh, in this little part that I'm doing here. I want the texture to be the thick white highlights that are going to pop out. So it's very important that you knock down the texture as well. All right. So thanks for watching, you guys, and uh, I'll see you soon.